Well, let, let, let me tell you what the, the standard the standard workflow that I'm hearing, right? You, the, the dentist screens for snoring sleep apnea, and then if he feels this patient may be suffering from it, he will send that patient to a physician to order a sleep study because only a physician can diagnose OSA. And then once the physician makes that diagnosis, then there's a little struggle back and forth. Is it going to be treated by a physician with CPAP or is it going to be treated by a dentist with an oral appliance? That's, that's where I understand the state of the art to be. Correct? Well, that's the state of the financial art. Okay. <laughs> All right. And so you got a guild of the uh, sleep physician. Then you got the guild of the undergroup uh, called the dental sleep medicine or the ADSM. And they have a very small group of 200 saying these are the only people that can treat it. So they are going and they're going hand in hand. So any dentist can do this. Any dentist can do it well. It's under their medical, I mean, dental scope of practice. We can treat snoring. That is not a medical disease. We can treat airway problems. We can treat any of these things as a dental appliance. But it, what gets in the way, so, so, so right, w whether the patient snores or has OSA, the treatment is essentially the same. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes, but let me explain something about OSA. That is pretty much and is now a fairly bogus diagnosis because what they're doing is trying to find numbers that correlate with so that you can put a CPAP on. Has no difference. There's a whole group of phenotypes that is, don't have sleep apnea but has all the issues of cardiovascular disease, hypertension, uh, sleep dis uh, issues, uh, fatigue, tiredness, all of so those. So if they things, had a sleep study, that their, numbers, show it. their numbers and would and say, and no, you don't have OSA. The other thing, 83% of sleep docs will not uh, uh, send people to a dentist if they fail sleep app. just goes out the window. So uh, okay. it, it's, uh, they have a problem. Physicians have a problem because they are failing and they don't get their patients well. Okay, so give me the workflow that works for you. All right, and this, was, this goes back to, my dad had the first hygienist out of Baylor. So it's very interesting. <laughs> that was uh, back in the early 50s. So guess what we did? What, every six months a patient comes in and sees the dentist. And so I just applied that to my oral appliances. We, that's what our requirement is. We're the only uh, person that can do it. So when I had a general practice, my hygienists always asked, do you snore? And they say, yeah, in fact, I got a CPAP, but it's in my closet. And I said, okay, we can start treating that. So that's, it, it's totally a hygiene and assistant business. And that's what I had. I didn't care where they had medical uh, So they're, they're asking some screening questions. Screening right. questions at all. And that's all you need to do.